realize that I haven't done my job really well. Um, I'm supposed to facilitate this evening, but I didn't produce myself. Uh, I'm, my name is Luna Sabarga. I'm a student here at SOAS, uh, studying law first year. But I'm here as in my role as a human rights, Eritrean human rights activist. Uh, this is my fourth, I think, um, Press Freedom Day celebration. Uh, but I'm born in Sweden, so that's where I've been doing most of my work um, up until the coming year. And my uncle, Sim Sahaya, is a journalist who's been in prison together with Dawit Aisha. Um, he was in prison the same week for the same reason, supposedly, because he wasn't granted a trial either. Um, so I'm here in that role and will now read a letter um, that I wrote to him uh, after having a dream that he was free. Dear Seal, last night I had a dream that you were free. Together with your daughters, I stood with my two siblings in the front row and waited for you to come through the door. You fell to your knees the moment you stepped through that door, but your girls ran to pick you up and gave you the biggest hug ever. And we cried and cried and cried. Abby kept herself anchored to your arm while repeating the words, this is real, over and over and over again. The rest of us just kept crying. We could not understand that we, you were finally free. Then I woke up. A lot of people ask me and wonder why I chose to get involved in their case. Some wonder why I try to influence a government that they believe will never listen. I fight because I have a responsibility, because I have no other choice. I do not think it's a coincidence that you're imprisoned and that I grew up in a country where I have the opportunity to do something about it. For me, that is reason enough for everything in my power to give you your freedom back. But somewhere along the way, you became more of a symbol. I fought no less for that. On the contrary, the fight for your freedom evolved to include the freedom of all of Eritrea. But sometimes I almost forget that you are my uncle, the father of my beloved little cousins, and my mother's own brother. I almost forget that it's not just a symbol we're fighting for, but a human being. And when a human life is at stake, we cannot take a chance. We cannot allow ourselves to assume that enough is already being done. At that moment, every possibility and every attempt to help in any way, however ridiculous, must be considered and followed through. For when it comes to human lives, all of us who have the slightest ability to provide assistance have an obligation to at least try to do so. See, sometimes I forget that we actually never met. I know so much about you, and you're such a big part of me. The Eritrean government failed to get what they wanted when they captured you. They detained you and took away your freedom. But they do not understand that your love, strength, and courage still lives freely. It lives with us, and it grows stronger with each new person who is touched by your story. If I were to promise you anything, it is that I will do everything in my power to make sure that the whole world has heard your story, so that all of us can unite and demand your freedom together. But I will be honest with you, Sion. It is a difficult fight. There are two government ignores us, and too few people know about our country to even care about what happens there. But this just proves to us how much work there still is to be done. And it's only when we have asserted every option that we have the right to say that the fight for your freedom is in vain. Because as long as I know that there's at least a sliver of hope for my work to have even the slightest impact on your case, I will not think about stopping. And there's always hope. See, um, I want you to know that what gives me strength to continue fighting is your courage. You knew that you'd be imprisoned. All of you did. But you believe that the fight for democracy and freedom in Eritrea was greater than yourselves. You did something that very few people would dare to do. You sacrificed your own life for what you believe in. The fight for your freedom may be tough, but it's nothing, nothing compared to the battle that you have been waging alone in yourself for more than 15 years. The first thing I did when I woke up was to write down everything I remember from my dream. I will never, and I never want to forget the feeling I had when you stepped through that door and embraced your little girls. Because it is precisely this vision that is our goal. And when the aim looks like that, when the goal is so big and so powerful and full of love and wonder, then I have no choice but to continue to give my all until the day that you are free. Trust in yourself, Sion. Be strong. Hold on. You've managed for so long. Now, there's not much time left. All my love and eternal support, your niece.
up um, is a poem written in solidarity by Peter, who will perform and explain more. So, but don't Isaac lives. Don't Isaac shut up in darkness. Don't Isaac alone in darkness. Don't Isaac confined in darkness. Don't Isaac unheard and unseen in darkness. Don't Isaac not forgotten in darkness. Don't Isaac not forgotten by his ruler. Don't Isaac not forgotten by his friends. Don't Isaac not forgotten by his family. Don't Isaac not forgotten by his two citizen lands. Don't Isaac not forgotten by us here today. Don't Isaac talks to us here today. Don't Isaac talks to his two citizen lands. Don't Isaac talks in his silence. Don't Isaac talks in his isolation. Don't Isaac talks in his pain and isolation. Don't Isaac's darkness talks. Once this land had a future, people fought the struggle together, got through the pain with clear hope. A new life made by people together. All the various voices joy. All the various voices heard. All the various voices talk together. All the various voices lighten darkness. Magazines and newspapers lighten darkness. Sene, Mekela, Kestedebena, Admas, Tsigane, Seti. All the words tumbling out like foam, luminous like the sea at night. Words various as stars in the sky. Words welcoming as lit windows in the night. The words that illuminate a land. Darwin Isaac helped utter these words once. But the ruler said, we know how to handle his kind. We know how to handle such people. We must waste their lives. We must destroy their lives. We must empty their lives. We must make them live in darkness. We must do this across the land. We must never end with war. War and power must be all we know. War against ourselves is the best. Anyone not fighting against my people. He is the enemy of my people. She is the enemy of my people. They must all say only my words. A new Eritrean vocabulary. Taken from the only Eritrean words, mainly into green now. I didn't hear what it was. Employed in the UNHRC, Commission of Inquiry on Human Rights in Eritrea. Apart from the names of local plants and foods. So these are the rulers and his regime's contributions to the world's common stock of words and concepts. Otto, torture position with arms tight, tight to the elbows behind the back. Gifa, round up to check identity papers, travel documents, etc. Or seize people for national service. Bardo Celeste, zero three, as if it were a radio frequency. Presidential disinformation service or state source rumor mill. Even the rumor knows no one believes the official communications. Ne Hadera. People handed over to the police by security staff or officers from the military or regional administration without their names ever being disclosed or registered. Intsa Se. Delicious bite. Unofficial payment to secure release of a prisoner. Fero. Iron handcuffs with bolts to tighten them as torture. Alomaz, dire. Torture position with victims suspended by tied together elbows, just standing on tiptoe. Wase Yikiano, heroes of the freedom fighters. Conscripts into the effectively working lifetime compulsory national service used for forced labor or any government requirements. Minkesakesi. Government or military issued pass allowing internal travel, which is illegal without it. Lerit or Zalemish. 
condition which causes the sufferer to only be able to walk backwards as she is unable to control her legs and walk in a forward direction and also accompanied by trembling. It appears the consequence of rain and other forms of ill-treatment during national service. His Bawi Seruit, population soldiers. Militia uses guards, which anyone of any age not serving in the army can be compelled to join, thus making up for the loss of young people fleeing the country. These are the words of darkness, the change into endless night, closing and closing and closing, all doors on their users, tight into dark, closed boxes, boxes of wood, boxes of stone, boxes of zinc, boxes of iron, boxes of steel, boxes of concrete, boxes that are pits in the earth. The words of Dawit, Isaac, open up and fly. They are other than darkness. Light opening, bathing like the sea. Dawit, Isaac, is kept in darkness. Dawit, Isaac, lives shut up in darkness. But he also lives in the open light. His words help create. Dawit, Isaac, lives a free man, imprisoned by power, alone in its darkness. Dawit Isaac lives, shall live in the world. His words shall help rebuild. Dawit Isaac lives. Terraces of light. That 
the dark withdraw. Let the dark withdraw. I, I anoint my voice. I anoint my voice. And let it sound hereafter. And let it sound. Or dissolve upon its lonely passage in your voice. In your voice. Voices new shall rouse the echoes when evils shall again arise. Shall again arise. I unite my heart. Within this flame I lay, within this flame I lay, spent ashes of your hate, spent ashes of your hate, let evil die, let evil die, let evil die. They often hang him upside down. I unite my flame, so does hell they often hang they often put him in the Jesus position. I call you forth on the wrong terraces of life. Let the dark through. With his hands and I his legs barely touching the ground. So does hello. They also enjoy the helicopter. With his hands and his feet attached. Terraces of life, let the dark control. <clears throat> what about the electric shock? What about the beatings? says to Helen, do you remember that long quotation you helped me to remember by heart? Oh, what was it again? Once you realize the inevitability 
of your people's destruction. Uh, <laughs> one way or another, your personal humiliation is turned into a sense of responsibility. That's the one. Oh, that's why I come. That's why I'm here. Here where no one comes. Here where it's baking hot during the day and freezing cold at night. Here where you have nothing. No one, nothing apart from your thoughts. Your thoughts that mean nothing. He says to Helen, forgive me, forgive me. It's not my fault. Helen, my are you are very late. You are very late. Not every day like one. And it's not a girl, Kaile, Elimaki, Habela, Kabela with Ems, Dekh Elimaki. Anas, Nitubu, Ila Hagere, Kagel Gile with Emperor, and it comes with that. Mass Messilian. I had a lay, you are very late. Helen. Oh, Helen, Helen, Mr. Seti Six, now, how do you feel to be dangling up there? Hmm? Would you like to say something for us? Or just, would you like to be crucified? Tell me, if you just feel like that, just tell me, huh? And let me, okay. If you want to say something, just let me know, huh? Mm, okay. He says, don't go, please. Can you hear me? He says he doesn't want to hear. He says, I am your brother. He's had two weeks of this. He's on the floor. He says, no one. He wants a person, someone, anyone to talk to. He someone. says, no. <sighs> Not down that dead end. Stand up. If he manages to stretch up in the direction of the air vent and stand quite still, he can just about make up the sound of two guards talking. A couple of the prison guards in the distance talking to each other like normal Eritreans. The dialogue is inaudible, all the same. It's a, co it's a conversation in Tigrinya between two people. He collapses. No, he can't make it. Not today. Distributing these copies. Hmm? Given that the members of the editorial board of set it made a collective decision to print, he said. Collectively, I have responsibility to tell to the people of the open letter. 
حلفنت علني ناي بورد ناي سيتي حلفنت علني بين يجن اي كونكون سلازي نتي تتعف ناي توم 15 نزبحو ناتي حلفنت ناي كلها انا حلفنت ناتي ترح يكون ليسن تو ذيس اي ام كودينغ فروم ا تي في انترفيو ناشونال بيبو may choice different priorities but even if we are still left with hungry mouses to feed these demands are not wrong they are good demands what the what the reformers are demanding is constitutionally elected government the implementation of free democracy and more systematic organization of the civil service i imagine huh? you know who wrote this? Oh, oh yes, he <laughs> said. <laughs> what? What? See? And you believed. You believed you had good reason for saying that. On a TV, is that right? Yes. If I didn't, I wouldn't have said it, he said. Well, tell the me to withdraw my remarks, he said. Fat little fly. There, that is just settled on my papers. Do you do, do you do you do you really believe that this fly has the choice of whether or not to shit on my documents, or whether or not he should be he should pay with our life? Do you believe that? Remember the smell of fresh laundry. Smile. It had to move a lot, Maluso. Do move Maluso a lot. 
You strike me as remarkably strong, Mr. 36, said the interrogator. أنا أقول لك حاجة عشان ما تطلع ديني وترى معي كلام مليون مرة بقول لك بقول لك نفس الكلام ده أوكي تاخذ معي بنفس من أوله. He asks where do you get it from? Oh. I get it from my freedom oh. said داويت. Oh نحلنا نحلنا نت نتلني نوت نت نت نكرمنا نحلنا نت نتلني. Sit down. Sit down. Say thank you. Say thank you to me. Say it. Thank you. Say it now. Thank you. Say thank you, my friend. Say thank you to my friend. Say thank you, my friend. Say it. Say thank you, my friend. Thank you. Said the for, interrogator. For thank you for being alive. Thank you for being alive. Say thank you to me. Say something to me. Say it now. The interrogator says, I have a name. I am myself. I am your brother. I have a name. I am myself. I am your brother. I am your life. supported Dawit and his colleagues in the establishment of the uh, uh, Eritrean Playwrights Union. And so when Dawit was arrested, obviously this was very alarming to my friend Carl. Years, years later, Carl and I worked together. I was in Malawi for eight years, then Zimbabwe for five, and whilst I was in Malawi, Carl came there and we did lots of stuff together. And uh, uh, the play is based upon the interview done with a guard who like for years, no, there was no, no news of whether or not Dawit was alive. And sort of mid 2000s, a guard left Eritrea and fled across the border and gave an interview for Swedish television um, uh, by a journalist and, and Dawit's brother and gave an account of the living conditions in which Dawit was, was um, staying, uh, gave an account of the times in which he was interrogated, the size of the cell, and also said that he was named Prisoner 36. So that is where Carl uh, sort of started and then kind of embellished, you know, with his knowledge of, of, of Dawit as a person. Um, and Carl is very keen to kind of um, emphasize that this is not just about Dawit, is prisoner 36 is representative of all the prisoners who were incarcerated um, uh, at that time. Um, so, and I and I decided to put it on here as a, as a means to create debate around uh, Eritrea. And then Derek won this award, and we were like, oh my god, we have to do something um, uh, around this. And so that's where you saw a few excerpts that we spent, you know, a day putting together. Hopefully, it'll be able, able to go into being a full, um, more fully fledged production. Award, which is a huge award, and I think 
recognition of people fighting for press freedom around the world. Last year, an amazing phenomenal woman from Uzbekistan received the award. And this year, um, Eritreans all over the world should be proud of that. An Eritrean, Dalt uh, Isaac, was honored um, and also honored you know, of receiving this award. So this is from his daughter's acceptance speech in Indonesia. In this spirit, I would like to express my gratitude to the Guillermo Cano Foundation and the Helsinki Sanomat Foundation for their support. And I would like to invite Ms. Beto, Bethlehem Isaac, daughter of the Wittisak, to receive the prize in his name. Thank you. Understanding and respect. 
and by peaceful means give people the right to determine their own destiny. Therefore, I have decided to dedicate my life to oppose those who fight against any type of freedom, and I have decided to not fail, but to conquer and rise. Even though my father isn't here today, he would tell me not to feel anger or sadness, but hope and forgiveness. He would tell me to show understanding and focus on what we can do to help others. So I encourage the international community to engage in a fruitful dialogue with Eritrea for the benefit of my people, my blood, and the love for peace and harmony. And to my Eritrean brothers and sisters, no matter what hardship or challenges you may face, I unconditionally offer you my support, help, and an open heart. Let us build our future together. Let the free dialogue between us guide our country towards an Eritrea where we, where we all can free our minds, souls, and hearts. Let not the hard-won battle for sovereign nations, our culture, and our rights be lost because we have forgotten how to speak. In the coming years, I will focus on creating opportunities for young Eritreans that are interested in developing a strong foundation for the future of our country and to, con and to contribute to making Eritrea a more inclusive, more tolerant, a more socialist, socially just society. But if my father knew I was standing here among all you prominent people talking only of him, he would give me the evil eye. So in solidarity, I would, I would like to give my deepest condolences for the men, women and children who have lost their life, been displaced or are suffering as a result of the horrible conflict in Syria and other conflict areas around the world. And in the spirit of human rights and free speech, I hope these conflicts come to an end very soon. So in our time, it is important to keep our dignity and to be tolerant and to support the work of journalists. They are the ones who truly defend our freedom and by those who are oppressing journalists, we understand that we are not really free but under constant surveillance and our freedom is many times just an illusion or under big threat. This is not the time to give up. And one day, Father, I hope to see you again, to hold your hand, and to just be your daughter. I wish that you soon will come home and be with our family. Thank you very much. That was a beautiful speech. Um, and I think it's important that she touch upon there are Eritrean sisters and brothers that have perished, that have died, disappeared, kidnapped, um, that are not with us today. And you can see the consequences of impunity, of you know, lack of press freedom in Eritrea, in our children that are still in Eritrea and that are fleeing. Um, and the consequences of press freedom isn't just on May 3rd every year, isn't just when we decide to speak about these issues, but are present in the political institutions, the political consequences, and the political realities of the people living in Eritrea um, and fleeing the country. So I think that was a phenomenal speech. Um, and all my support and love to Beth and Misak, who's been fighting for her brother's release for a very long time. Um, next up is Honey, who's going to perform a song. Yeah. 
ใจคน